Okay, so last video for the night, up Sunday night. This one will be something really simple. I'm kind of like a barbell since I've been doing a lot of, um, what's it, working in the gym. I'm just going to delete everything. Oh. And let's try and make a barbell. So what I want to do is add a mesh and a cylinder. Okay. And we're going to scale this. Like so, oops, there we go, something like that, looks okay, shade smooth, uh, shade auto smooth, that's probably better, um, then we're going to go to edit mode, we're going to do select this top face and bottom face, extrude inner, which will give us that first like, Edge of the you know the the lid, and then what I'm going to do is press it, select the scale tool E, right click, and then just bring this in. Okay, so extrude in, so they both go down. So then we go in the inwards, and then what we want to do is the ring here. We we want to create a ring here for the bar to go through. So we're going to use the inset again and scale this in. So you can just press S as well. So you can once you hit the inset once, you can just press S. So let's say somewhere there. Oops. 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 Let's say there. It's a bit fiddly. Why? There we go. And then I'll inset again. Okay. We've got two rings. And well, let's expand that, so I'm going to do Control plus and make sure the other side is done. And I want to extrude again. So E, actually I can just do E and use the scale and then just extrude that out a tiny bit. Maybe a bit more. There we go. So I'm happy with that. Let's select this face and this face. And I want these, they, they look like they're going inwards a bit. I'm just going to pull that out. There we go. And then we're going to add one more hole. We'll add one more hole. So one more insert. And this will be the actual hole. So I'm going to just press delete and say delete faces. Boom. Now we've got this hole and we don't want that hole. So what we're going to do is select edge mode. And we're going to alt shift that loop and then the one underneath. And what we're going to do is bridge these two together. So we want to bridge that gap that we see here. We want to bridge this. So right click and say bridge edge loop. Boom. Now we have a we have a plate. And then let's soften these edges. So let's add a bevel to these edges. So I'm going to select this outer loop here, this loop, this loop, and this loop. There we go. And I'm going to right click. Bevel edge. Oh, before I do that, just come out of edit mode. I'm going to press Ctrl A, scale all. Now, and I'll do bevel edge, should behave a lot better. There we go. And then increase the segments. Let's zoom in a bit. And let's try and play around with that. There we go. That looks a little bit better. And then I also want to bevel. Maybe I want to bevel these edges here too. Like alt click. I'll do the inside as well. And again, on the other, other opposite side, right click, bevel edge. There we go. That's looking nice. We have, we have a weight that we can use. <laughs> Sorry, let me take a drink. There you go. <clears throat> now, let's put some text on here. Okay. Or something, some, some additional information. I don't know. Um, First, this, I'm going to add the edge loop here and here. 
So select faces. Let's select these faces here. Uh, actually, if I go into X ray mode, it makes life easier. Go like this. Now let's select both sides so I don't have to like flip it over. Uh, let's choose, let's make sure this is aligned. I hope it is aligned. It might look a bit funny, it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, that looks looks all right. Maybe this one, and this one, and this one. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Yeah, let's say that. Oh, it didn't select the other side because I didn't do an edge loop. But that's actually fine. We can have it one sided. Um, let's extrude this along normals. Just extrude up. And of course, I'm going to select that edge loop. So I'm going to just turn the X-ray off. Just select this edge loop and this edge loop and here and here and do the same on this. Boom, boom, shift, alt, shift, alt, shift. And I will right click before edge. Drag this out and just reduce those segments. Maybe three and then just there we go. Yeah. All right, that just adds a little bit of detail to the plate. <clears throat> um, we could put some text on here. Perhaps we can put some text on here. So mesh. Let's go to text. Sorry, text. And then if we hit tab, like that, you can put in on the weight or whatever you want. I don't know. 50 if you want, but 50, I don't know, kg, Good caps, kg, uh, and then you can change the font and all of that as well, perhaps you want to just stick that on there, um, let's scale this down, get it from above, then I can position it, easier if I go to the options and center that, and center this, so middle, middle, makes it life easier, um, I mean the plate's slightly wonky because you can see these are not equal, but I think it has to be perfect. There we go. Make sure this sits on top. So I'm going to go into wireframe and move this up. If we go to the options um, of the geometry for the font, we can extrude this out. There we go. Now it allows us to maybe drop that in. And perhaps we can add a tiny bit of bevel to that font. There we go. And it looks a bit wonky, so let me just check the rotation on that. That's all zero. Is this at zero? Yeah, for some reason it looks wonky though. Um, let me see. Yeah, very odd. Could be just a font, I don't know. <coughs> Maybe a bit smaller. Put that at the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna join these two together. Join. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is apply material to this. I don't want to spend too long doing this, but yeah, you could you could do a lot more. You could probably add like a little logo or name. You know, new material. Go for a plate, dark plate, and then let's change the shading mode. Text as well. Oh, the text needs to be converted to a mesh that will then allow me to join this together. There we go. Now you can see the material applies to it. <laughs> okay, um, I want a second material. New. And I'm going to hit tab and this inner ring here. I want to select the faces. So I'm going to alt click. Actually, I'll start from here. Alt click this one the center and then control and plus 
There we go. And we should have it on the other end. And we're going to assign this material. There we go. Now this color we can change to whatever we want. Blue, red, green, whatever you want. Let's go for a red color. Let's make it kind of plasticky. Plastic, maybe plasticky. Yeah. And then this one can be slightly metallic. We have a plate. Yes. Now what we can do is send this up. Set this to 90. And let's rotate this again. 90, there we go. We have one plate. Now I'm going to call this, I'll just call it plate. Take a drink, sorry. Okay, and control C, control V. So we've got a second plate. I'll place these together. Okay. And I'll move these across. Now if I turn it look at the grid. Uh, let's say two two across. And again, I'll copy this and paste. Let's say two across. And I'm just gonna change this to 90. Rotate the wrong one. There we go. Make sure you have the right one selected. So this would be 90. And this one would be 90 as well. There we go. So we kind of got our, our, our plates in place. We want the bar to sit through it. So I'm going to add the mesh cylinder. And of course, rotate this on the y axis. <coughs> so on the cylinder properties, you can set it here. Uh, and then you can change, of course, the, the depth and the radius. Let's tweak some of that. There we go. Now I'm going to scale it a little bit more. And then scale it on the Y. Oops, not the Y. The X. There we go. Now I'll scale it down again. Do I hope you fit something like that? And I'll pull this out a little bit like that. And what I'm going to do is just make this end slightly thicker. So go into edit mode, like this face and this face. We're going to do E, then we're going to scale out. Okay, bring this back in a little bit and then S is that's not going in there we go and then I'll E again oh no that's too big now no, that won't work undo 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 let's just make that slightly bigger there we go longer there we go that'll do <clears throat> Perhaps here, if we add the edge loop, so another one here. So, okay, I'm going to apply material to this new material. Um, so, new metal, bring that roughness down, shade smooth. Oh, very very chrome um which i don't mind but maybe bring it up a tiny bit there we go and then i want this these ends to be different that's so we slice those which is nice so we can select i'll go into x-ray mode to select these faces here and these faces here <coughs> assign a new material yep. You may notice that they're not are they even yeah they're even and what i want to do with that material it'll be also like a metallic, a metallic 
but just less a bit more rougher on this and maybe we want to put some here where the grips so we could put we could put that same material so we could use the edge loop Let's go into this side view here. Let's say here and here. So I'm going to drag this to here, to here. Let's say here. What is it? Two across. Let's say two across. And one, two. There we go. And of course. I'm going to X because we've got X ray mode selected. I can select these faces and these faces and assign that same material. There we go. Just adds that, just breaks it up and adds a little bit of detail huh. on the bar. Now, let's um, stage this a little bit. So, let's put it on the platform or something. So, move this up. Fly up here. Yeah, let's add a little stage, a little platform for it. Boom. Let's get that from the side. Put this down. Put this a bit more square. Let's do rectangle. There we go. Be a bit smaller. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> oh, let's add the ground plate. So I'll call this platform or oh, oh. stage. We've got stage. Uh, bar. What's the bar? Let's add the plane. And this will be our ground. Name this ground. Okay, for now, I'm just going to turn this ambient occlusion on, just add some, boom, yeah, it just, just looks a bit nicer. Let me take a drink of my tea. Hey, okay. let's put a material on this, so, uh, new material. So, uh, you can change this after, apply that same material to the ground. And let's duplicate these plates. So I'm going to take these plates. So we have some spare plates. Control C. Control V. There we go. And let's just lean one up here. Okay, from the side. Bring this down. Rotate this. Like so. One over here. <coughs> Perhaps this one just zero out. Get this again, paste. This one is. Tilted on this. Yeah. Now let's let's add a little towel, like a gym towel or something. So gym towel. <coughs> now just gonna go to plane and pick this up. Now, fairly small. Place it on the bar above the bar. Tab, subdivide multiple times. That should be enough resolution. On the bar itself, I want this to be a collision. So I do want to say this is a collision for the cloth. And then this is the cloth. Now I hit play. Kind of get what we want. 
kind of, but you know, also the ground. This needs to be collision. Um, maybe slightly longer on so it kind of it's leans lands on the bar. Does it play? Feel it's a bit. Maybe rotate it a tiny bit. See if we can get something a bit more interesting. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> now with that simulation, what I'm gonna do actually just um apply the cloth. Uh can we apply the cloth? Or can I just copy and paste control C control V? Would that make it into a mesh? I don't remember. I don't think it does. Oops. I'll, I'll do play. <clears throat> I did the wrong thing. Ignore me. There's no self collision either on that cloth, is there? Um, where's self collision? Collision. Self collision. Okay, and bring this forward a bit. Okay. Now, if I can remember, there's a way to to freeze that, right? There was a way to do it. Um, if I can remember, and you just say convert to mesh. Is that now mesh? I think it is. Let me just check. Yeah. Okay, so you can do that. <coughs> so it's a mesh. So let me undo. So now that's the mesh. Okay, doesn't look brilliant. It's all like shaggy. Shade smooth. I'm gonna add a modifier. Sorry, my brain brain fart. It's quite late. But this will be my last video for the night. Um just add some solidify. And also, what I want to do is some sculpting on that. And with the sculpted, I can click on the cloth here. Can make it a bit more interesting. I can add some more, more ripples to it. And um, I'm sure we can drag this. So if we go to the tools, back the tools, and. To pull. Is the strength not strong enough? Pull. There we go. Let's push. Oh, I want pull. Or grab, should I say? There we go. Ooh. I'll do that. Come on, I made that worse, right? Let me undo that. Undo, 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 undo. There we go. Just add in some wrinkles. Just using the sculpt. Pull that out, pull that out. There we go. Just so it makes it a little bit, you know, just a little bit more interesting. <coughs> there you go. Oh, nice to tell. Maybe the thickness is too much. Um, let's put thickness down. Or of course, add a material to this if you want. You can change the color. I don't know what color. Tell if you want to bring in. I don't know if it's orange. I think it's a bit wide, too wide. I'm just gonna bring that in and in. Move this up a tiny bit. Oops. Tiny bit. I'll just select these faces here. Maybe just pull these out a tiny bit. There we go. 
not not the best in the world, but it's a tell. Maybe I don't like the object. Maybe we'll just leave it as kind of like a greyish white. Yeah. Let's shift it over here to the right. Or oh, left the nasty town the weights. Anyway. I'm sure we add a little drink bottle and stuff. Eh, mesh, cylinder, we'll keep it basic. Um small. Down on the ground. Now this doesn't need to be anything fancy, so all I'm going to do is extrude. So P and whoop. Look at that top face. Let's extrude the region and bring this up. Okay, select this edge here, this loop, should I say? If it lets me select that loop, but this loop. This loop, come on. Why are you not selecting the loop? Let me come out of X ray mode. I want this loop, there we go. Right click, bevel edge, changes to like that. Maybe bring it in. Extrude along normals, boom. Select the bottle, right click, shade smooth or shade auto smooth. New material. This will be, uh, we want it kind of glossy. Let's bring that roughness down. Um, we'll be on, is it on the transmission? If I can remember. They, they changed version 4, they changed it, so. I don't know, I'm trying to remember, but there we go. A something like that. That looks okay. And then with the lid itself or the, the cap, I'm gonna just do control plus, grow that selection, add a new material, sign that. There we go. Now if I change the environment, there we go. You can see it's like mm, looks a bit nicer. Play around with that. Play around with this material. Wrong one. This one. Oh, yeah. Something like this. <clears throat> if I turn on screen space reflection, refractions, on the Thing. and let's also add a camera so we just need a camera bring this out I'm gonna right click like usual vertical split zero home I'm gonna go to the view I'm gonna ch just check camera to view um, and then and I'm gonna toggle off these that with the camera to into place, I'm gonna change this to the graphic. Scale this out. There we go. We have a nice scene. <clears throat> so yeah, experiment. Play around with the lighting, like we see. Now this is all EV, and then so you can experiment. Maybe this one's fine. Just bring that strength down. I'm gonna add a area light. The lights, area light. Guide. Increase that to something ridiculous. That's really bright, but it's a starting point because you're away. <clears throat> okay.
Now I'm going to change this to cycles. Oh. GPU, the noise, and putting the strength down on the environment a tiny bit. Now this light I know is way too powerful. So I'm going to definitely bring that down. It'll be 2000. There we go. <clears throat> And now I'm going to go to my assets and then just use some of these add ons that I have. So, asset browser, gonna go here, scroll down, and look one for one with blinds. Um, so those are kind of weird, funky ones. Maybe the grid, let's see if there's any window ones. Let's keep on scrolling. Here we go, we've got some window ones. Um, let's go for this window here. Drop this in. Set the other light. Now, just add that little bit of detail that, you know. Over here. And then I'm going to increase that power. Just add an extra zero build. You can see that nice. Uh, blur it a tiny bit. I like that. And then if I increase that spread, take this out. Yeah. Now, like I said, you can change this color to whatever you like. If we want to go like a that's nice. It's not too strong. I don't like the towel. So maybe in the, those real time materials add on, there is a cloth. So we can go to cloth UVs and let's add this one. Let's see what this looks like. Ew, looks horrible. But yes, it's got a nice texture. Oh, let's go for this added sci fi material. And change the color saturation. Yes, what is that? The amount that's looking nice. That's right there. Yeah, kind of like that, but maybe it's too dark. Let's try. What's a simple, simple add material? I'm just experimenting now. That nah, looks too basic. What about this knitted one? I don't even know if anyone would. There's no such thing as who would have a knitted towel anyway. Anyway, but let's make this white. Change the second color as well. Why is it still retaining the blue? Oh no, that's just the preview. I'm looking at the wrong image. Um, bring that dirt down. Still feel very dark. Maybe these don't work. Uh, what else have we got in here? I don't know. Let's see. Abstract. Maybe we've got some funky towels, did. Maybe that's too funky, but but now there we go. And just change these colors a little bit, a bit nicer. Find a bit of orange and blue, and maybe this is a white. I'm just kind of changing these settings here. But yeah, I'm pretty much done, I think, for the night. Thank you again. 
and sorry, I was you know I was spending quite a lot of time just fixing this um, little towel up, but here we have a little scene, um, little stage with weights. Anyway, enjoy your night, evening, or day. Thank you again. Have a good night. If you can hit that like and share and subscribe if it was any help, any tips as well will be useful. Thank you again. Goodbye.